man. This is Let's Play Pokemon, the trading card game. Two, the invasion of Team GR. Team Great Rocket. And I will play the intro for you guys just to speak up. Anyway, yeah, it's back, Pokemon trading card game. Man, I'm really excited, so. Um, now, I don't want to go too far, so. Before I start the stream, let me just, uh, let me, let me just, like, do, like, I'll pretend like everything's fine and working, but let me just basically get until we get our starter deck, uh, as we play a new game here, and then I think I'll check on the stream and make sure everything's cool. New game, let's start a new game from the beginning, let's do it. There's existing save data. Yep, we'll erase all your cards. That's fine. Alright, and of course I tested this, and yeah, nice thing about this, you can choose if you're a boy or a girl. I actually like the design of the girl character, so let's go with the girl. You're a girl. Yeah, sure. What's your name? Um, yeah, so you can either go with Katana, or English, or, you know, Starfish. Uh, for our game, let's just pick, um, uh, this is a name I've used in other series. Um, uh, yeah, maybe me. Actually, you know what, let's change it, let's change it. Let's, uh, let's do something slightly different this time. Let's go with another name. Uh, lower. We're gonna go with... Now, clean. Uh, now, me. Sure. There we go. Uh, oh. Alright, let's do it. Naomi loves collecting Pokemon cards. Naomi came to this island seeking the legendary Pokemon cards. Ah, yes, we remember this from the last LP we did. Yeah, where we inherited legendary Pokemon cards. I guess I can read this in the Dragon Ball Z announcer voice, so let me just kind of... The Club Masters guarded the way to the Grand Masters. Uh, let me check real quick. Okay, yeah, yeah, stream looks good, honestly. So let's do it. Very good. And the four Grand Masters protected the legendary Pokemon cards. After many card duels, now we beat the Grand Masters last stream. On Dragon Ball Z, I'm sorry, Pokemon Trading Card Game. The four legendary cards were inherited. Finally, the master duels worthy of the God Card, the Egyptian God Cards. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, also, Duels has two L's. Give me on that Steam refund stack. I'm oh, just kidding. Then, one day, That happened. So the scene play out. Alright, hope you guys are doing a good thing. New LP, baby. And what is this, like a blimp that's... What's it doing? Is, is that a blimp that's sucking up all the cards? A mysterious group suddenly attacked a planet Earth. But it's in the sands. And... Will Naomi be able to defeat them and claim all the Dragon Balls to wish everyone's cards back? Find out now on Dragon Ball Z. They call themselves Team Great Rocket or Team GR. Team GR attacked the island's card clubs and stole all of their cards. <gasps> the Rare Hunters? In Pokemon? Hey yo, Tim, get that for the thumbnail, bro. Yeah, yeah, thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, even Mega Me's cards were stolen. I mean, I'll be. That's a famous game. And then they went to the fighting club and stole all those cards. This isn't good. But wherever there's evil and thieves, the forces of the heart of the cards will prevail. And with their cards stolen, now we will have to rely on the heart of the cards even more now than ever. And so this kind of does make sense in universe because like you built up your collection, inherited the legendary cards, but in order to like reset the game, the fact that they introduced basically the rare hunter plot from Battle City, I kind of like it, you know, just with the blimp, you know. <laughs> you must doctor, you must notify Doctor Mason about these Pokemon card thieves. We're on it today on Dragon Ball Z. Naomi fights the rare hunters that are loose in Battle City. 
plant skill that Doctor makes his lab immediately. Let's do it. Uh, do I have to select something here? Oh no, it just automatically takes me. That's crazy. It's Ronald. Yeah. Whoa, it's it Naomi. Yeah. I guess I'll give Ronald the Joey voice. Did I give him the Ronald voice or did I give him the Kaiba voice? Give him the. I could give him the Rex Raptor voice. What voice should I give Ronald for this LP? Um. Yeah. Well, seriously, what voice should I give Ronald? Um. Because I'm gonna be doing it for the whole LP. I'll give Ronald. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the. Kaiba voice. Ah, uh, uh, let me pretend I'm interested. Well, well, if it is an army. Gee, blood, why would they want to do that? Uh, remember me, Sento Freaky Kaiba? I'm your longtime rival, Yuki. I mean, Ronald, that's my name. Now, do you have any blue eyes white dragon cards on you? I, I really like that card. Ah, uh, Team Great Rocket Stolen. Not good. They'll pay for taking my blue eyes. I'd better check on them. I'd better check them out to stay one tap step ahead of you. <laughs> See ya. By the way, I think Dr. Mason would like to speak with you. See ya. <laughs> Next week, meet, I'll have the mighty blue eyes white dragon. And thank heaven you'll sit on me. Oh, wait. It's awful. A group called. Team Great Rocket or Team GR invaded. It's not good. This island's card clubs were attacked one by one. Everybody's cards were stolen, and many club members were kidnapped. <gasps> Kidnapping people in a show about children's trading card games? That would never happen in Yu-Gi-Oh! Right, guys? Team PR stated the legendary Pokemon cards for the Grand Masters to what? What? Okay, okay. Now, like, I understand them getting them from the clubs in, like, the ordinary humans, like Matthew, like, you know, uh, uh, Kristen, um, what are some of the other normal duelists? Um, like, John, you know, Jonathan, um, yeah, etc. Or, you know, but yeah, uh, from the Grand Masters? <laughs> These guys ain't playing around, am I right? Please help us get the cards back from those villains. Will you accept Dr. Mason's request? Well, yeah, bro. Of course I'll fight the Rare Hunters for you. And I'm going to constantly refer to Team GR as the Rare Hunters. Because that's basically what they are in this game. Sorry, you know, if you don't like the Yu-Gi-Oh! references, but... I mean, come on, it's... Yeah. Thank you, Naomi. Since they took your cards, you'll need to have a replacement deck, a.k.a. a starter deck, so... Way you can use your deck to battle with others. Here, take this deck. Luckily, it wasn't stolen by Team GR. Ah, just so happened to pile some cards together, Dr. Mason. Let's do it, baby. You receive a starter deck, and yeah, you actually don't get to pick your starter deck in this game. You're basically assigned one. Pretty interesting. You can have this mini computer as well. Mini computer? Ah, that's convenient. Not mini computer. Yes, yes, yes. Handy tool. Organize cards. List your card collection. Check mail and even record decks. So this is basically like, you remember the deck save machine and the mail, the computer, and uh, a bunch of other things all in one. Pretty convenient, honestly. All recorded decks are sent to all labs, deck record, deck record machines too. So yeah, if you save a deck recipe in your mini com, it'll put it in uh, Mason's lab, so you can check it out later. Awesome. Great upgrades, by the way, for Pokemon trading card game too. I'm counting on you to get everyone's cards back, Naomi. Let's do it, baby. Alright, and we get something else. Oh, oh, no. We're, okay, we're free to move now. So, anyway, yeah, still the same controls. Let's save the game, first of all. Diary. You want to write in your diary. Yes. And, yeah, that is how you save. Now, the first thing you'll want to do, of course, is go to config. And put the message speed probably the fast. Uh, dual animation. We like that. Point toss animation. We can skip some coin tosses, 
Oh no, coin toss is a side thing, so let's show all. Uh, window color. Yeah, you can actually change the color of your background. Right now it's red. This is what blue looks like. Green. Nice. So let's go with obelisk blue. <laughs> and to save, I think you just hit this. Nice. Yeah, because I like blue. Uh, so we'll do that. Now let's take a look at our deck, actually. After I save you. And I'm also going to make just a little, uh... Don't worry, don't mind me, guys. I'm going to use the features of my, uh... My, uh, you know, Soldier Boy official game console. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Now that I've done that, and, you know, made it past the intro, let's check on the stream. Because, number one, I want to tweet out the fact that I am streaming, yes. But, number two, uh, I want to, uh, yeah. So, I'm not really sure, <laughs> you know, how this looks or sounds. And I want to make sure I'm definitely recording game audio. So... Yeah, first time streaming this, and then what's nice is like you guys see me clearly streaming this, you know, on the uh, webcam there, and like if the audio is just not working for some reason, well, I can just kind of you know reset and start a new game again until I figure it out. So uh, yeah, if I do have to restart a couple of times or whatever, just bear with me. You know, first time streaming this game, and yeah, there might be some issues. I'm just saying. Um, so let's go to my channel here. There we go, right here. And I just want to see, see if we hear audio and stuff. And I just want to see if we do look great or audio or old but If we do look great or audio or old but Ooh, yeah, I even hear like a little bit of an echo. But uh, so, yeah, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, the good part is, is uh, I think I can. I heard everything. Yeah, as far as my voice and. The game audio. So, and like, the game audio is not too loud from what I heard just now. So, that's good, I think. Good, I think. Good, all right, all right, all right. Good, all right, all right, all right. Oh, nice. And the game audio does like pipe in whenever I click into the GBA. Like, right now, for example, I'm not in the GBA. So, there shouldn't be a GBA of audio. Example, I'm not in the GBA, so there shouldn't be a GBA of audio. Example, I'm not in the Now GBA, let's click so in and see if we hear the, the audio. Now let's click in and see if we hear the test test test. Now let's click in and see if we hear the test test test. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. All right. And I'll just tweet out the fact that I'm streaming this on my Twitter. So there we go. All right. There we go. And it said my post was sent. So we're just going to close the tweeter. And we're good. All right. Let's get right back into it, everyone. All right. So, and now, uh, yeah, the deck. Um, What is our starter deck? What does Marcellus Wallace look like? You know? Um. Yeah, so it's basically a partial fire and partial fighting deck. There are no cards like... Now, I know in the original, like, there are actually some cards, like, in the side deck, so to speak. You actually have some spare, like, Abra and Kadabra and etc. Um, but yeah, in this deck, not so much. You basically have what you have. It is nice that it comes with Machop. Um, yeah, Diglett's kind of low on the HP. I don't like that, but it does come with a good handful of colorless Pokemon, which I do like, so... And this Meowth is honestly not too bad, so... Uh, the trainers? Some improvement can be had there, and there's the energies, so there you go. Oh uh, yeah, first deck, um... Yeah, I guess we'll save there. Uh, sure, let's save it to the deck re record machine. Yeah, starter deck, sure. Why not? And as you saw there... Um, I think you can play, use, uh, how many, how many decks can you use in this game? Uh, I think you can use a whole bunch. Um, auto deck machine, make a deck. Yes, yeah, so, oh, okay, well, it only says one, right? It doesn't have all the blank spots like in the other game. Um, but anyway, there are quite a few things you can do in this game, as you can imagine. Let's start by talking to Dr. Mason again. You must find all of the members of Team PR. Arnold and the others need your help. Search all of the clubs. Yeah, so basically this game's kind of resetting you, and you need to basically pretend like you haven't played this game before, you know, explore everywhere, and see what all you can find. You know, traditional Pokemon game. 
Uh, and then, you know, basically, if you've never watched um, my first series of Pokemon trading card game, you're free to check that out. But it's basically the same rules. Um, there are going to be eight, you know, badges or medals, club master medals that we can get, or they're basically going to be eight checkpoints, and we want to get all eight master medals, or all eight checkpoints. So, kind of like when you fight the eight gyms, very similar. Uh, yeah, that'll be the goal. Alright, what's up? Oh, if you'd like to save your game, please press the start button. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Alright, what's this? Uh, oh, you can even do deck diagnosis. Pretty interesting. Yeah, so, there you go. Huh. Uh, step one. Uh, check deck. Yeah, checking your starter deck. Hmm, so this will be, like, this is kind of convenient in case you've never played the game before. There you go. And it'll kind of give you a breakdown of the cards and, like, recommendations. Uh, decent, and yeah, it'll tell you if you've got, like, a decent amount of basics or, like, not enough. But, yeah, this is battle right away. So, there you go. Uh, you can get some advice and stuff. Uh, pretty cool, deck diagnostics. That is definitely new. Um, and of course the glossaries here, if you need, like, special terms, and stuff like that, and special dual rules, what? Flame armor, what's this? Uh, that's weird. Hmm, interesting, special dual rules? Huh, I guess we'll come back to these a little later. But, uh, yeah, and they'll give you, like, you know, basic explanations of stuff if you need help with that. Dark evolution, what? Dark Evolution? Uh, kind of sounds like a Digimon. Like, like you know how uh, Akumon evolved into the Skull Greymon and was like a Dark Digivolution? Evolution? That kind of sounds like what this is. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe we'll find out more about that later in the game. Uh, anyway, yeah, there's some interesting stuff there if you check out the PC. And some uh, spoilers as well, too. But, uh, anyway, uh, let's talk to this guy. The room to the right holds the lab's computers and deck machines. Uh, yeah, for players who have some experience. If you're looking for training, try the room on the left. Dr. Mason created for players new for the Pokemon trading card game. You have to try it out at least once. So, yeah, we will head over here to the left. And I definitely recommend doing that. At least once. Uh, I believe there are eight different card clubs on this island. Fighting, Water, Lighting, Grass, Psychic, Fire, Rock, and Fire. However, they seem to be closed due to Team GR's attacks. Hmm, can we open the clubs? Perhaps sometime later in the game. Let's we'll try, let's we'll try, let's see what we can do to help. Uh, oops, didn't mean to talk to you again. When you win the card duels, you'll be awarded with boost of packs. This is true. Each boost pack has 10 cards. The cards you can receive depend on the type of boost of packs. So, yes. Uh, contain random cards from a series. Since GR took all of your cards, you'll have to get new ones. If you don't win new ones, you'll never rebuild your collection. It's all true. Anyway, let's talk. This is Sam, who will give you tutorial stuff. Um, he's available to give you tutorial, and he'll, if you do the tutorial, he'll still give you energy cards. Um, yeah, it's not really efficient to duel Sam. So, I could show this practice duel. Should I? Ah, let's do it. Okay, okay. Anyway, yeah, if you're new to the game, here you go. Yeah, so you can ask Sam about, you know, basic stuff like this. In order to do anything, Pokemon must have energy cards. If no energy are attached, the Pokemon can't attack or retreat. So, yes, seven different types. Uh, yes. Um, attacking. Your Pokemon damages the opponent's defending Pokemon by attacking. Pokemon needs certain energy cards in order to use attacks. For example, the special card that you see King's Waterfall is a water and a star, which is a colorless, and a star stands for an energy of any type, so there you go. How about yes, different differs depending on the attack. So let's not ask anything. Uh yes. Once you're familiar with the lesson, you can try it out on your own. And yeah, you'll be using the uh, preset practice deck for this, so... Now, normally I probably wouldn't show this, but uh, yes, as we play the duel, I'll give you advice on what to do next. Oh, that's Dr. Mason talking. Please follow my instructions exactly for this card battle. I'll write them down for you to memorize it before each time. 
If you're ready to play, let's start the card battle. Here we go, Sam. Researcher Sam. Sam practice decks. Did I say decks? Sam's practice deck. Let's do it. Since this is practice, do not shuffle the deck. Yeah, that's basically it's preset. So, okay, yeah, it's just practice here. Anyway, all you do is follow Dr. Mason's advice here. And you basically get used to the, the gist of Pokemon trade card game, so let's just play along and pretend I don't know anything. You start by drawing seven cards in your hand. This is Dr. Mason talking. Choose a basic Pokemon card from your hand to be your active Pokemon collect. It looks like your options are either Diglett or Pidgey. For now, choose Diglett. Okay, so we choose Diglett to be the active. And then, yeah, you can choose up to five to be on the bench. You can fill your bench with up to five basic Pokemon. Uh, yeah, they can't attack, but basically, if you all your Pokemon get KO'd, and you have nothing on the bench, you lose. So I recommend at least always keeping one Pokemon on the bench. At least one. If you can. I mean, sometimes you just don't draw it, and you can't play what you don't draw, so... Uh, yes. Next, put Pudgy on your bench. There you go. Uh, when you're done filling your bench, press the B button to continue. So there you go. Alright. Two prizes for the practice. Alright, here's the point. We go first. Got a fighting. Your Pokemon need energy cards in order to attack. This is true. Different attacks use different types of amounts of energy from the hand. Select a fighting energy to use. Okay. Uh, you can put it on Diglett. And dig. Okay. Seems simple enough to assess fighting. So we press this, we press play, we go to Diglett, go to attack, as Dr. Mason said, dig. Diglett, dig, Diglett, dig, free yo, free yo, free yo. Alright. Sam is thinking. Oh, so he put a water on, headbutt. Oh man, good thing he didn't make us flinch. Okay. Which skipped our turn. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, you know, Diglett's other attack requires full energy to use. Uh, use a touch a second fighting to take away. Uh, then choose Mud Slap. You, now you try doing this. Now, like, yeah. And Doc, sorry about Dr. Mason's, you know, voice acting, but it's constantly changing. Anyway, like he said, use the more powerful attack now that you've got the extra energy. Mud Slap, 30 damage. Take away, take away, take away, take away, take away, take away. You got Sam? Posh! I like Posh. So Potion heals. You know, 20 damage. Pretty good trainer. The only reason they had Sam do that is to show you how to use a trainer card. Getting Goldeen ready. Okay. Headbutt. Now, we're only 10 HP from losing, so... Yeah. yeah. If we leave Diglett as it is, it'll be knocked out. That's true. That's just what I'm saying. You can play the Duck Trio in your hand in order to Diglett to have it evolve. Yeah, and when it evolves, its HP goes up from 30 to 70. Very good. However, yeah, it won't be able to use its attacks, so we'll place another energy, doesn't matter what kind, uh, on the video by using a slash. So there you go. Alright, so, yeah, here we go. Let's go with Eagle Eight Big, Eagle Eight Big, Frio, 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 Frio. And you can check out your Duck Trio if you want, or any of your Pokemon, by going what I did here. Go to check. You know, you can go to even the opponent's area and check out the seal. Yeah, and just have a look at it. You can see it has 60 HP, because that's 6 of the circles. You know, you see it's level, level 12, headbutt, you know, for the one water. Uh, you see it has one retreat, because that's the one star, and that, that's the retreat cost. No resistance, weak to lightning, so there you go. Um, but yeah, so check out our... Uh, you can even check out cards in the discard pile, if you just really want to, you know, see how he heals. So there you go, pretty handy. Um, now, to check out our Doug trio, let's check it out. So this is what Dr. Mason's is talking about. See how it has two fighting and then the colorless? So we need to put at least one energy onto the fast slash, you know. And then for Earthquake, we need four fighting. So, yeah, I would only recommend putting fighting on Doug trio, but sometimes you'll draw, like, fire or whatever other type of tenure. So, but if you're playing a deck that includes Doug trio, only put fighting on it. Because ultimately, its attack only needs fighting. So, and yeah, it's a side pack. It's downside. Does 10 damage to each of your own bench Pokemon. So, there you go. Um, anyway, so let's do what Doctor Mason said. Uh, let's put this energy on it. 
and I will use the slash knock you out. See you. See you. See you. All right, and whenever you knock out the opposing Pokemon, you get a random prize. So basically, to start each duel, you set like if it's a four prize duel, you set the top four cards from your deck, you know, onto the side as prizes. And basically, the person who collects all the prizes first wins. Uh, there are other ways to win. That's the main way. So, uh, Sam Evolve and use Waterfall, which is a HMO7, so, there you go. Uh, Nidoran, sweet. When a Pokemon is knocked out, another must be placed in the arena. Yep, so, yeah, Dr. Mix is basically telling you here, put Nidoran down, start putting some grass energy on it, so. Uh, yeah, and if your Pokemon is about to be knocked out, you know, kind of like this situation, you might as well do as much damage as you can, you know what I mean? Which is what he's recommending here, so, there you go, so, let's throw Nidoran the man down, put an energy on it, and go slash, yeah, so, that's basic strategy, just kind of chip them down if you're going to be knocked out anyway, so, yeah. unless you have a strategy to kill your Pokemon, in which case it might be a good idea to, like, a certain Pokemon powers and stuff can heal you, and if that's the case, if you got a couple of those out, it might be a good idea to retreat, you know, heal up while you're on the bench, and then you can uh, send your Pokemon back out. So, there you go. What you got, Sam? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, dude. Waterfall. Waterfall. Alright. So, what are they going to have me do here? I guess throw in Nidoran. That's the only thing that makes sense. Uh, yeah, a knocked out active Pokemon must be replaced by a Pokemon on the bench. Right. And right now, only Pidgey and Nidoran. But only Nidoran has energy, so... Yeah, okay, choose Nidoran. Yeah. And I would recommend that as well. Like, if your Pokemon does get knocked out, and, like, you're new to the game, at least send out something on the bench that has energy that you've been building up. Um... Yeah. Because if nothing else, you can always retreat that Pokemon that has energy and switch into, like, let's say you draw, like, an evolution, like, the perfect evolution that you've been waiting on. You know what I mean. Uh, the trio has been knocked out. You have to replace them with a red from your bench. You may now press the select button at any time to look at the play area. Ooh, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, you can keep track of your hand and what's in your opponent's discard pile, like, if you don't understand stuff and etc. So, uh, yeah, so this is, but yeah, I'm pressing select. You can check, like, you know, whatever. Uh, you can check the opponent's area and check out the seat key he just destroyed us with. And then you can see, oh, like, oh, it has 50 HP left. Uh, that waterfall is pretty dangerous. Okay. So, and you know it has a retreat off the water and stuff, so. Anyway, we return. And, like he said, put in Nidoran, so there you go. Alright. Oh, my shot. Nice. Remember to place any basic Pokemon you pick up on your bench. Now, I won't go that far. I won't say, oh, always put all basic Pokemon on your bench. One thing I will say is, like, you know, I do know the rule about if your active gets knocked out, then, and you have nothing on the bench to do. I will say at least keep one Pokemon on your bench. At least one. Uh, preferably one with a free retreat cost. Yeah, at least one. Uh, yeah, put the Machop you just drew on your bench first. Okay. Get rank and a ball, but don't play that card just yet. Okay. Right, so... Basically, they're wanting you to build up and attack with Nidoran in the meantime. And then... Oh, a little bit of a glitch on the text there. This is a... This, this uh, you know, this, this, um... Legitimate game I have does have a translation patch. Because this game never came out in America, as I'm sure you guys know. So, there may be some weird, uh, stuff like that sometimes, just so you guys know, so... Uh, but yeah, doing a quick chat chat here. Um, okay, I think we're good. Just making sure, yeah, making sure we're good. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, and yeah, okay, so what's the plan? Uh, I don't know what that first part said, but attach a uh, grass and use the corn hazard. Okay, so let's do it. Oh, I think the first part was saying, like, oh, put Machop on the bench, yeah. Um, yeah, I was saying put all basics. Like I said, I wouldn't go that far, but 
Oh, with unsuccessful. Yeah, sometimes the coin will just, you know, screw you. So, and not in a good way. So, anyway, you got Star You. Waterfall, not bad. Alright. So, I'm guessing we get two heads here. That's the only way this makes sense. Yes, the time to evolve. Yeah, it's an end of Rhino. Choose an end of Rhino. Now we can give an end of Rhino some of its energy for its attacks. Uh, double kick. Okay. As far as coin flips, yes, to determine the damage. Sometimes you just gotta be lucky. Uh, yeah, you can do up to 60 damage. It sounds good, but, yeah, the coin is... Uh, you guys know how I feel about the coin, but it's whatever, you know. If you're lucky, yeah, right, right, right. So, alright, let's just do what the game says, you know. Put that on there, that, and then we use double kick, and... Oh my goodness, we're so lucky! No, but seriously, though, we had failed even... Oh, look at that foot. If we had even failed one, uh, coin there, we lose. Because this king can do 30 damage, as we know. Check out how much HP we left. Three circles, we've only got 30 HP. So, yeah, that is one thing about this game. The coin is... It is what it is. <laughs> and look at Sam. Oh, he looks a little nervous there with the little, little... Sweat bubble there. <laughs> Looks like an anime thing. So, oh, this doctor makes sense. So, did you understand and remember everything from the battle? Never mind that those exact steps. Yeah, we practice right. Don't be afraid to try new things in actual card battles. Good advice, Doctor Mason. Oh, would you like to try an actual in the game now, or would you rather try the practice rule again? Uh, no. On the practice. If that's so, I'm glad you understand now. I hope you'll return sometime for a card battle against me. Uh, I was playing against Sam, Dr. Mason? Yeah. I understand. Oh, this is Sam. I understand. You're welcome at any time. I'm always available for a practice battle if you're so inclined. Well, there you go, guys. That's the tutorial episode done. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, Sam doesn't actually give you energy cards. Well, I think he might. You play another practice duel? Well, at least he did in the original. And here, I'm not sure. Um, uh, what if I just press duel here? Um, well, wait. Let me do this first. So I'm not sure if it'll be practice practice or if it'll be like a an actual duel. Can we actually duel Sam like normally? That's what I'm trying to see here. Oh! There will be no advice this time, and we'll only have two prizes. Perfect! Okay, our first real duel with Sam. Let's do it, buddy. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. No, it is. Is it just the practice duel again? Well, honestly, I kind of want to see what happens if we... Yeah, if we, um... If we win... Without Dr. Mason interference, will he give us booster packs? He did in the original, if you just beat him, like, you know, normally. Or if you beat him in the practice schools in the original. Uh, so I'm really just testing for that. You know, sorry if it feels like I'm repeating the content, but... I am kind of curious, I kind of want to know, like, um... Yeah, is Sam going to give us the... Is he usually would give you, like, 10 random energy cards. Was he going to do that, or no? I do like the music though. Wait, he didn't evolve this time. Uh okay, I'm pretty sure. Just one because all I've got to do is the flash. Ah, so this tool did go like differently. Um, GG? GG, Sam. You have a good memory, don't you? Oh, we do get a booster pack. Oh, sweet, we get a present one. Oh, let's check out some of the cards in here. Okay, yeah, so just like in the original, yeah, if you do do. If you do a duel with Sam again, he will give you, um, yeah, just a, uh, booster pack that's not a traditional one. Normally, the present pack has different cards in it than this, but Sam is special. He will give you something with all energy cards. 
just energy cards. So, if you're looking for more energy, yeah, I can go Sam, uh, yeah, so. Not the best way to get energy in the game, but it works, you know. So, yeah, please use your skills to win future duels. Alright, see you, Sam. Thanks for the practice. Alright, and now we will head in. I know we haven't really headed out and done anything with the plot, but let's head over here. And I'm only doing this because, like, I realize not everyone who watches this VOD or streams, etc., is like an expert at the Pokemon trading card game. I mean, maybe you just like Pokemon. Maybe you've never seen this game, like, because this game never came out in America, so maybe that's why you're watching, you know, the VOD on YouTube or whatever. But, maybe you just, you're my number one fan. In which case, I say, you know what? Are you really my number one fan? Have you subscribed? Have you followed my Twitch? <laughs> I'll be quick. Please go to youtube.com slash... What? Is it this one? Yeah, because the camera's reversed. Slash, flood, F-L-O-O-D, N, I-N, mod, a a a mod, 14, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then, leave a comment saying, I'm your number one fan, and I watched Pokemon trading card games too, the other night. That's how I'll know. At this exact time, and then, put this exact timestamp in the comment too, because then I'll know. Then I'll really, 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 really know, and put however many reallys I put in the, right now, in the comment. Because I just said how many reallys, and I haven't memorized. Then I'll know you're my number one fan. Hey, yo, Tim, clip that. <laughs> that was funny. Anyway, let's see what happens over here. Um, hello. Woohoo! Yeah. So, you come now on me. Yeah, is this guy like a surfer? Oh, yeah. Oh, so you come now on me. How do you like our new training room, bro? Tubular. It was built to help tutor players. Ah, okay. You can start your training at step one. Uh, would you like to try it? Sure. Why don't you head over to table? Alright, more training. We're in the uh, hyper. Hyper Sonic Lion Tamer. Hyper Sonic's Rain Chamber. Alright, well, so let's have a little more about card evolution. You gotta evolve with the times, bro. Again, today's supposed to be my evolve in stage one form, Geo. Turn, well, stage form, one form, can evolve into stage two forms, man. Radical. Since we're training, put your normal deck away. We'll use the lab practice deck. Four prizes. Uh, wow, Aaron. Not much has changed. How's it going? Alright. Let's do it. And I guess we have to follow Aaron's example to a T. Uh, well, no, he didn't say put whatever, so. I guess we'll start with Goldie. We have to game. Yeah, sure. And I'll throw the genie on the bench. Alright. What you got to say, Aaron? Ah, oh, we go first, huh? Uh, oh, he's not actually going to tell us, like, exactly what to do. It's just up to us. Okay. Well, I know this is a water pump on Goldini. Don't know what attack it has. Horn attack. Okay. So we'll just do that. Okay. Your turn, Aaron. And I guess his main lesson is to evolve. This card is pretty baller, though. Hit my chain. 20 damage for Pretty darn good. Uh, so anyway, if you check the Sea King before you evolve it, you'll see that, yeah, it has the 70 HP. But yeah, Waterfall needs one uh, water and a colorless, so we can use one of our fire energy if we want to. But uh, yeah, I'll just evolve Sea King. Now we do also have Charmeleon, which needs fire, so I'll give Sea King a water energy. And we'll go with Waterfall. He has a potion. Yep. Okay. Hit my chain, chain. Hit my chain, chain, chain. Yeah, I don't know if we're supposed to start there with Goldene or not, to be honest. Radicate! Okay, uh, let's go with. Get energy on Virginia, for sure. And, well, go with Waterfall. It could be that I need to start with Virginia there. I don't know. So, because, yeah, see, he's gonna get knocked out here. Oh! I thought he put an energy on it, because uh, Hitmonchan has another attack. Let me just show you guys, it's called Special Pond. 
Yeah, and it can do for two fighting and a colorless, it can do 40, so maybe he just didn't draw the other fighting. I don't know. Either way, I guess I'll put an energy on... Uh, we'll save the energy. I don't know if we need the uh, uh, extra energy or not. All I know is right now, your team only needs one energy, I think. Because all it has is like town, right? I guess we book a price at random, this one. Okay. Bro. Bro. Nice. Thing, guys. Heck! Okay, well, Sea King is down, unfortunately. Right, so, Aaron's gonna even up the price count. Where's he gonna go? Uh, yeah, and there's the Spiro you can check out. Yep, heck, we get that. Not bad. The good thing about the Spiro, it's got a free retreat cost. I wanna watch out for that. Ivasaur is weak to fire. So it's good that we just threw one. It's got leech, seed, and vine on uh, whip. So, let's go. On the bench. And, yeah, Dracini is good, right? Let me just double check. Good. Okay. I thought this was the base set one, but you know, there are quite a few artworks, different arts of Dracini in this game. So, let's just check, honestly. So, yeah. Bill, aka Pop of Greed. Also, we need to draw two cards. Yeah, I see the fancy the fighting type. Alright. Let's go with my pot of green. Oh, I draw twice. Ooh, Radita, okay. So one thing we can do here. We can actually put an energy on Radita. And by doing 10 damage here, all we need to do next turn is retreat into Radita and revolve evolve into Radicate. And boom, yeah, we, we're doing a we're knocking out the speed rope. And we're not letting him get a prize, so that's what we'll do. Let's play Pot of Three to draw two cards. Star you, nice. Okay. So let's go with Star you. Let's go with Radicate right here. And yes, I'll show you guys how to retreat for the first time. So you just hit this button, retreat. Uh, it costs one colorless for Dratini, which I we checked we had already checked. Radicate! Alright. And now we can throw a fire on Char Mizzle. And fight. <laughs> Down goes Spiro. Now, yeah, I was gonna take. Now, I'll probably send out my shop. But honestly, that's okay. All right. So, Radicate is gonna sadly go down here, or is it? Yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit of advanced strategy. So, uh, as you see here, Radicate is weak to fighting type right there. So, it takes double damage from fighting. It resists psychic for some reason. And has a one retreat cost. Now, because it does have a one retreat cost, what we can do is evolve here into Charmeleon. And yeah, with this flame door, you can do 50. And all my shop has is count the circles. One, two, three, four, five. 50. Alright, so what we can do here is put a spare fire on uh, Charmander, which we already did. Uh, evolve into Charmeleon. Uh huh. Retreat, eradicate. Stop it from getting killed. And flamethrower. Oh! 50 damage, my chap. What do you think about that? Third prize, baby. Alright. Alright, so there's we see. Not too bad. Um, yeah. Ivysaur is toast. Because all we have to do is use flamethrower. One thing I am going to show you, though, is that even if an attack has, like, all colorless requirements, Still does double damage based on type. Like, Charmeleon's type is fire, Ivysaur's is grass. So watch, even if I use Slash here, yeah, it still does 60 damage, so just keep that in mind. Got Diglant. Diglant, dig, Diglant, dig. Trio, trio, trio. Already, let's finish this Ivysaur off and finish off the duel. So, oh, 27 minutes. Alright. Uh, Professor Oak, by the way, is a pretty good trainer. Uh, let me just show you guys how this works. So yeah, just card your hand and draw seven. So here's Professor Oak. Probably the best trainer in the game. Well, I'd say it's top five. Right. See King Goldine? Yeah, good stuff. Rumpy Dash. Pretty cool Pokemon you can look at here. If you're just curious. Uh, also, the cards in your hand, if you want to rearrange them, you see how they're kind of all basically in the order we just drew? If you press um, select, 
yeah, your cards will rearrange themselves. So, like, the fires are grouped, the water, and then, you know, the Pokemon are grouped differently. If you had different fires, they'd be grouped together, different water would be grouped together. Yeah, there you go. Bye, you guys. Anyway, I throw up. See ya, Ivasaw. I'm damaged. Alright, step one done. Nice tutorial, Aaron. Oh, and look at his face. <laughs> I do like in this game that they changed all or like updated the uh, faces as far as the AI when like even like you'll see you'll you guys will start to see like when they start to lose like their faces will just start to <laughs> start to do funny stuff man um, but yeah excuse me let's do it very good uh, oh wait wait I gave him the tubular voice like the uh, Michelangelo voice from uh, Ninja Turtles. Whoa, tubular Naomi! You could step one! Oh, and for that we get a present? Is this gonna be all energy cards? It is, yeah, okay. Not bad. Okay. Woohoo! The next stage is even more challenging. Come back when you're ready for more training. Oh, tubular! Radical, man! Alright, see ya, Aaron. I'll try to remember to give him the Michelangelo voice, but anyway, let's save and talk to this guy. Just showing you guys a couple of tutorials, you know. Uh, pupils. Okay. Several steps in the training program. Okay. Let's try step two, actually. I won't do all four steps, because that's a little boring, but two steps? I think we're okay with that. Uh, yeah, let's do the one, two step. Everybody get on the floor. We about to get it. Uh, whoa, dude! Step two bitches that poison, sleep, paralysis, and confusion statuses. Whoa! Radical, man! Make sure you think of your actions up carefully during the duel, that is true. Some of those statuses can be really gnarly, so, now the full heal trainer card will help you out with that. Also, if you evolve, you're basically cured of all those statuses. Pretty interesting rule in this game, but yeah. Uh, that's true too. Retreating will cure any status it has. Alright. So you have to pay any retreat cost to retreat. Uh, yeah, put your normal deck away. Let's go. Alright. Whoa, Aaron Step 2 deck, bro. Let's do it, Aaron. Alright. Let me hear that beat. Classic. Look at that. Ooh, War Turtle. I like that artwork. <laughs> I like a lot of blood, blood, you know, blood, aka water, uh, things in game. Ah, oh, nice. I love this artwork. Let's look at it again. And it has bubble, which can paralyze. Surface and cap. Nice, nice. Do we have Squirtle? We do not. Um, I guess we'll just start with Goldene again. Um, sure, I'll throw a match problem on the bench. That's it, I guess? Hope we draw some evolutions or something. Also, this that can look switch, which Yeah, that's kinda of what Aaron was saying. Um, switch lets you switch your bench with your active Pokemon. So basically if you have a status, some kind of status, you can uh yeah, simply retreat and get rid of it. So there you go. Look at Grimer <laughs> under the Grimer. Oh, poison gas. Automatic poison? Say it ain't so. Yeah, and what poison does is you take 10 damage in between each turn. So, kind of annoying, but yeah. It's a sticky hand. Ooh, jeez, that's rough. Okay, I imagine for this deck scenario to play out well, I imagine that it has to get tails. But still, that's crazy that it has that attack. Let's retreat Goldene, because we are allowed to retreat for free. And I guess let's throw in this uh, magic carp here. Throw water on it, and we'll go with attack. All right, because if we went for flail, it actually wouldn't do any damage, but wow. I guess I'll try poisoning him. Uh, oh no, he's going for it. Oh no, he went poison gas. Okay. Okay, good. Right, we're going to try to keep the statuses to a minimum here. What do we got? There's the Squirtle, okay. Okay, what have you got, little buddy? Ooh, the Skull Dash I like. 
Okay, let's go with Squirtle. Uh, it can automatically knock out Grimer. I'm just doing some thinking. Let's use the switch back to Goldene. Try to get him to keep using the poison gas. Yes. Put the water on Squirtle. And we'll just horn attack, yes. We'll just kind of slowly chip him down. Oh shoot, that's fine, that's fine. I have, a, I have a faith that we can draw another... Oh. I think he got tails on that. That's what I was saying. I was just like, he must be programmed to get tails because... Yeah, that attack seems like way too good. To, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we can only do 20 damage with War Portal. But Skull Bash is ready. Um, so I'm not going to evolve Portal yet, actually. Um, normally I probably would, but um... Yeah. Um, now, I think we're more likely to draw Sea King versus Gyarados. Because Gyarados seems way too good for a starter deck, or a practice duel. So I am going to retreat Goldene here. And do the chip damage with Magikarp. And I'll show Flail here. Yeah, there you go. Flail does 10 damage times the number of uh, damage on Magikarp, so... <laughs> That's not good. Uh, tail, 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 tail. Um, thanks for taking the hit, Magikarp. So Aaron actually takes the lead. Um, but we do have Squirtle ready to, you know, for the retribution. So, alright, Squirtle. Oh, there's Charmander. Okay, that works. Uh, because he does need fire, so there you go. And Squirtle Bash. Ah, <laughs> that looks funny. Uh, hopefully we get a water from the prize bottle. Nice. Good, good. And yeah, it's gonna go with poison powder, which is automatic. That sucks, but you know, it's okay. Alright, we've got a uh, war portal here now. We should be good. Nice. So let me show you guys this. Yeah, you don't even need to use your full heals in this situation. Yeah, if you're poisoned or confused or whatever, just evolve your Pokemon if you can. And you are instantly healed. Yeah. So with that, we can go with Surf. I'm gonna go with two Surfs versus the bubble because two turns will take this thing out so there you go and i'm going to show you guys a little bit of a strategy as far as this poison this poison point strategy yeah you see we've got an extra energy on the ward portal the fire so one thing we can do here nice 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 nice, nice. one thing we can do here is actually retreat uh you know for two energy and then go into gold bean if we wanted to and then since Goldeen has a free um, retreat, yeah, we can go back to War Portal. And you see War Portal is cured now. But I'm actually going to see if we got Professor Oak. I'm going to use Oak first. Let's see what we draw here. And then I'll act appropriately. Magmar. Oh, nice. Magmar. Ooh, Fire Punch. Ooh, for one energy? Wow. And this card is weak to... Fire. Wow. Okay. Well... Alright, cool. Uh, I guess we'll throw in this on Magmar, and then I'll throw down Staryu, and then we will retreat into something that is your weakness. Fire Punch. Fire Punch. Nice. Okay, another prize for us. Now we're, now we're winning, now we're ahead, now we're good. Bad and stuff. Alright, just a little chip 20. Uh, Magmar does have this other attack called Smog. Yeah, pretty cool. It has you poisoned. So, you know what? He's been getting status after status after status on us. Let's see if, what about the shoes on the other foot. Aha! Head! We just won. Let's check it out. Yeah, now Raditz has poison and... Ah, oh, the poison knocks it out between turns. And Aaron's out of Pokemon, so that's how, like, poison and well, we really mostly only saw poison. Uh, didn't really see much confusion or paralysis. But, yeah. Those are some things that, that apply to any situation, though. And, yeah, by evolving or retreating or etc. Uh, and you saw that turn where I retreated your War Turtle. And then, you know, we have the free retreat Goldeen. That's why free retreat Pokemon are really good. Uh, because... Yeah, yeah, if you ever need to, you know, heal status, you can just, you know, like, pay usually, like, the one retreat cost, 
put in the free retreat, and then you, by going to the bench you heal. So then you just replace the energy, and then yeah, there you go. Very good, Naomi. You there, there, get Naomi. You could step two, radical. All right, premier pack. Uh, is this energy too? What is this? Oh, cards. Okay. Keep Jeez. Now this cheek's a little different. Uh, yeah, it's got pound for a color bonus, 70 HP for one psychic and a color double slap, 20 times, yeah. Two coins. There's Porygon, this is the original from the Pokemon Trade Card game. Honestly, conversion two is pretty good. So yeah. Uh, this card's also very, very good. Good trading card. Yeah, trade one of the cards in your hand for two basic energies from your discard. I'll definitely be adding this to our starter deck, but yeah. Hey, got back on. Bye, got you. Uh, Cookie. Crabby. Ooh, another Charmander. I'll probably add that as well. Charmander time! Woohoo! Nice. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate the, uh, cards. And yeah, we got our first, you know, real pack of cards. So yeah, let's, let's mess with the deck a little bit. We're just gonna modify it as we go, you know. Add that. Oh, we've already got two switches. Okay. Actually, yeah, let's add a third switch. Let's add... Let's add a little bit more fire than the fighting. Just a little bit. And let's take out the Diglets. You know, I know they were used a lot in the practice, but yeah, their HP is just really low, and I, yeah, let's take out the big list. Um, let's throw in Oregon and Charmander. Oh, wait, we already had four. Okay. Let's throw in maybe Voltex? It can confuse, so, sure, why not? And then we'll take out one Machop, one Machop. Looks good. Colorless are I like. In fact, you could say the colorless are the best Pokemon. Because, yeah, any, any energy will work on them, so... Pretty good, yeah. Uh, and I like the ratio right now. Hmm. Oh, yeah. hmm. Yep. Um... Good. Stay so right there. There we go. Alright, uh, with that, let's head on out. Um, by the way, let me check on stream real quick and save. Pretty sweet first episode, though. Um, let's see here. Oops. Ooh, man, I don't know, I don't know why, guys, but I suddenly feel, like, pretty sleepy, honestly. Pretty tired. Um, maybe I should try to get a first instance of plot duel. Hmm. You know what? No, no. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually duel Aaron for stage three. Well, let's just knock these out. Let's knock out stage three and four, actually. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then we'll probably call it a stream. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Step three, buddy. Radical! Let's head over to table three! Alright, let's do it. So we've learned, like, um, evolutions, um, status condition. Yeah, step three, focus on the use of Pokemon powers. Interesting. Alright. Uh, yeah, when combined with trainer cards, many different tactics are possible. This is true. We use practice decks. Let's go. Alright, so basically, let's try to get a Pokemon power online as soon as possible. Most evolved Pokemon will have a Pokemon power. Not too many basics. Just so you know. Uh, hmm. I'm liking where this is going. I'll start with Gengar. And Portal Mitch. And that's it. Okay, Aaron. <laughs> let's, I wonder what his Pokemon power will be. Ooh, nice. Alright, let's start with King of Time. And we need to fetch. Alright, then let's just draw a card. Let me get my chain back. What in the world? Double colorless. On stage 3? That's insane. Anyway, let's throw... 
uh, War Portal down. Frog Portal. Let's play Hitmonchan on the bench. Um, I guess I'll play Magic Card. Sure. And I guess I'll put this energy on... Genghis Card? Yeah. And we'll use Fetch. Your turn, Aaron. Another water pit. Can't see it again. Breeder, what in the world? Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Damage swap is scary. Oh my. Oh my. Wow. Well, that chancy is uh, nuts. Um, one thing I will do here, though, that I think will help us greatly, is I'm actually going to retreat Kangaskhan. So, yeah, Kangaskhan has a retreat cost of three. So, check this out. I'll evolve to Blast Boys. Blast Boys has a Pokemon power. Yeah, Rain Dance. Stop it as you like. During your turn, you may attach one water to one of your Pokemon. Pretty good. So, what we can do here is, uh, yeah, we can, uh, Rain this shit out to Blast Boys. But let's put one on King is trying to help him retreat. Let's use a potion on King is kind, because why not? And let's poke it up. I have faith that we'll draw like two cards. Two water energy, at least. So, which is all we need to nice. And in fact, we can now evolve into Gyarados, which has way more HP. Thanks to Rain Dance, we can still attach a lot of energy. So let's get Gyarados going here. With all four energy. So Lapras on the bench. Professor up again. Yeah, we're using some strategy now, some flood tactics. Definitely glad I decided to do this, uh, you know, this practice move. A lot of flood cards going on here. Alright, put them on back. Uh, let's, uh, him on Chan. Our bench is full, we're good. Uh, let's throw these energies on Blast Boys. Sure, why not? There we go. And now let's retreat your old Kangaskhan, shall we? Um, as you see, this Chansey, uh, yeah, it did damage to itself. So all you need to do is hit it with something with, uh, 40 or greater attack. Let's see Dragon Rage, that's pretty epic. Wow. Nice attack animation. Alright, and first prize, us. And most importantly, all of Aaron's, you know, precious double coldless energy. Fighting on Hitmonchan. And let's just use good old Gyarados' Bubble Beam, shall we? Sure, perfect. And we, since we got the heads, we paralyze it, meaning Chansey can't retreat, which is a very good thing. Also, we do the, we do the damage as well, so. Alright. Alright, let's still pump up Hitmonchan. And we'll go with Bubble Beam again. Why not? Two heads in a row. Pretty lucky. Alright, and if you don't like full heal this thing, we just, yeah, knock it on out of here. Okay, no. Looks like Aaron's just gonna try to pump up Alakazam and go with that. But, uh, yeah, let's pump up, uh, get my chance. And Dragon Rage it out. Very good. So we get our second prize now. Fighting. Here comes Alakazam! Jeez, jeez. Good, good. Oh, whew, we got really lucky. This thing actually has a pretty good attack as well. Uh, as well as damage swap. Yeah, check out damage swap. That is one of the most OP abilities there out there. Yeah, as often as you like for your attack, you may transfer one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to another. Once you don't knock it out. So basically, you can put any damage where you want. Kind of scary, honestly. Uh, but the key thing to note here is this power cannot be used without because then the sleep the future paralyzed. So, yeah, you basically want to status this thing somehow because if you don't, boy, is it tough out here. Uh, anyway, Bubble Beam is the move. Yeah, and we do paralyze it, which stops it from moving all of its damage elsewhere. Unless he has a full heal, which. Yes. Anyway, we are ooh, dragon here, wow. We actually have the key, that is crazy. Uh anyway, let's use this Pokemon Breeder just so I can show this off. On Squirtle. There you go. Alright, and let's go with Dragon Rage, because 
The animation looks cool, why not? Alright, and let's get our third prize, fighting. Jinx, jinx. Alright, we're good. This thing doesn't have any energy at all. So, whenever they don't have any energy like that, just hit them with your strongest move and go for it. You know what I mean? So, Dragon Age. That way, if, she, if um, uh, uh, this guy Aaron uses like a potion or something, you know, we got the most damage possible. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start start. Scoop up! Okay. Yeah, choose one of your Pokemon, return its basic to your hand, aka Jinx. And Jinx himself is a basic, so. Yes, I'm gonna guess he's gonna get a head soon. Okay, yeah, that kinda makes sense, because I'm like, how else are you gonna, you know, demonstrate the power of damage swap in the school? Um, that's probably the biggest time, sure. Um, I will. In the turn, I think? I could search for a water, but, nah. Ah, retreating for Jinx, huh? The smart move. Smart move this with the Gyarados out is probably just to go for as many heads as possible. Um, on um, yeah, on Lick for Gasly. Damage. How long? How How long? Yeah, pretty good Pokemon power from Hotchkiss. It's a good thing this match is almost over. Just check this out. Yeah, this thing has transparency, which we've seen a lot of in the other LP. But, uh, yeah, pretty baller. Built in agility, basically. Yeah, whenever an attack does anything, put the coin of heads for it, all effects of that attack. Yeah, Fossil Haunter, very good. Alright, so we'll, uh, get our last prize here. Yeah, we took out two Chansey and an uh, Alakazam, right? In the Jinx, so. Uh, like four prizes me, let's go! Alright, Aaron. Alright. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, step very clear. Ooh, a Moltres Legend pack. We'll take it. What do we got? Wiggly Tap! That Hadabra and Wiggly Tap were right on time. Huh? Ah, uh, yeah, the War Turtle Art Alike. Canopy. Okay. Oh, Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. That's a pretty lucky series of cards to get early on. Dude, Geo Dude. Uh, this Geo Dude's interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't really like it. It's got Tackle for a Colas. And Harden. Which only, this Harden only prevents 30 or less. I feel like it's pretty low. I know it's a basic Pokemon, but still, if it's at 30 or less, I feel like that'd be much better. Anyway, and right The Spraghorn's actually pretty good. All you need is one fighting, and really any colorless can leer in the meantime. So this jungle right horn is actually pretty solid, so yeah. And there's Abra, nice. And we got Kadabra, right? Wow. Well, so we got a double evolution special. Abra Kadabra and Wigglytuff um Jigglypuff. Interesting. Alright, well, there we go. Aaron's up for step four. Uh, before I forget, let me change my deck. I'm definitely putting in that Jigglypuff Wigglytuff now, though. That is, uh, yeah. So let's take out C Eradicate line. Yeah, we're, put, we're going with Jigglypuff Wigglytuff. Uh, and we've got room for one more base stick. So let's go with, um, uh, maybe I should take out Porygon for Abra Alakazam. No, probably not. But, um, we did get some good fighting mods. We also got Rhyhorn right on. So you know what? Let's go with those guys. And I will take out just one Pokemon. Take out a Spiro. Okay. Okay. Let's talk to Aaron again. Step four. Let's do it. All training regiments has many intensive stages. Tubular! Oh wait, we can't choose stage 4? Um, that's odd. What if I leave and come back? Um, anyway, let's check out our minicom. Do we have any mail? Oh, surprise Dr. Mason didn't send us something right away. Uh, yeah. Huh. Can we only do three stages for now? 
from Aaron. I guess that'll be the end of the stream then. Are you looking for some training? Well, are you looking for some training now, homie? Uh, yeah, I guess to start the game, you can only do the three stages. So, I guess that's it, guys. Um, yeah, I was expecting to do stage four and just knock out this part of the, you know, the uh, video game. So, but yeah, it looks like that's it. So, I guess we'll just stay here. Um, and yeah, in the next stream. We will actually, this will more be tutorial stream, but in the next stream, we will head out and see, like, you know, how did Team GR steal all of the cards? Will Bloodmine 14 be able to beat the Rare Hunters? And will now be able to play with the Heart of the Cards with her new deck? Find out next time on Let's Play Pokemon, the trading card game 2, the Invasion of Team. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time. <laughs> all right. Sweet. <laughs> Bye, guys.